even died in the world New Yorkers should agree that New Jersey got a raw deal when a Senate conference committee voted to make the Garden State pay one-third of the cost of a temporary pipeline to carry sewage from the New York City Convention Center, which is scheduled to open in 1984. How does New Jersey get involved in paying for New York City's sewage? Well, the pipeline in question would be temporary and used only until 1988 when the new North River treatment facility would open. New York City is very cool to the idea of paying the $2 million cost when the pipeline would be used for less than four years, and so it planned to pump the 860,000 gallons of raw sewage generated each day into the Hudson River. New Jersey officials became involved at that point because the currents would deposit a good deal of that raw sewage on the Jersey shore. Representative James Howard, the chairman of the House Public Works and Transportation Committee, whose district includes the Jersey Shore, had worked out a deal to have the federal government pay the cost of the pipeline, but that came unstuck when the chairman of the Senate Appropriations Subcommittee refused to accept the idea that it was a federal problem. Finally, he accepted a compromise in which the cost would be shared equally by New York City, the federal government, and New Jersey. So as matters stand, New Jersey finds itself faced with paying about $700,000 of the cost of a pipeline for the New York City Convention Center. The management of WPIX takes no more than a moment's reflection to agree with Representative Howard, who called the decision outrageous. As a matter of simple justice, it's wrong to take money earmarked for important sewage treatment projects in New Jersey to pay part of the cost of sewage treatment for New York City. At the same time, we can understand the question about federal responsibility in the matter. It seems to us that reasonable people would agree that the Hudson River is not an acceptable answer and that the cost of treating sewage for the New York City Convention Center should be paid for by New York City or the federal government, but not by New Jersey. What's your opinion? We'd like to know. <laughs>